Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 146. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 146 to 154. Hey, we got an exciting uh, Excel trick here. We want to take a record from this table, one, two, three, and put each one of these records at the top of a sheet. So we, in essence, want to insert a bunch of sheets. Now, this video is actually going to be in three parts. I'm going to show you three ways to extract records from tables. The first one, 146, will extract a record and put it on at the top of a new sheet. 147, we have some, extra, some records here, except for there'll be an added complication. We're going to have some blanks, and we don't want it at the top of a sheet. We want it in a column. So in essence, if I change this to butcher, then I want a dynamic uh, list to appear here. And then the third one, 148, will have the added complication that the table will not be set up in proper database form. So you can see there's a butcher and a butcher here. But our goal is still going to be with this badly set up table to create dynamic lists. So as here, as you see here, butcher, uh, there's beef, so there's beef there. And then butcher, there's chicken, so there's chicken there. So these are three different ways to extract records from tables and either put them in columns like that. Or in this first one, we'll put the records on new sheets. All right, the first thing is we have our sheet names here, job one, job two, job three. And we want to create a new sheet. So we want to insert a sheet. Now I'm going to click on 147. The way you insert a sheet is to right click insert. But forget that. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. If you click insert here, then you'd have to click on this little, this right here and click OK. The keyboard shortcut is Shift F11. Shift F11. And now I want to name this sheet. And we're going to learn an important sheet naming trick. I'm going to double click that and type job. And then here's the trick, parentheses, one, parentheses. Now, um, for us, we need it like this. But let me show you another one. Let's say we did um, quarter. And then in parentheses, one parentheses. So the sheet naming trick has to do with parentheses. I'm going to enter that named it. Now, if you have an, any kind of name and then a parenthesis and a number, it's automatically going to rename them quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. So you could do it test one, test two, test three, test four, or whatever. Week one, week two, week three, week four. Now, how do you copy? You could right click and then go to move or copy and then click create a copy and then uh, decide before what sheet. And so you, we'd say uh, before that and then click OK. But forget that. There's a much easier way. And I do have notes on this because this is a very important trick that requires everything to be done in the right order. Here's how you copy a sheet. Before you click on quarter one, you hold the control. So number one, hold control. Then click on the quarter and hold the click and then drag up. Notice the piece of paper right there and that plus. That plus means I'm copying. Let me let go of control and let go of that. Now, let me just see what happens if I don't hold control. See how there's a piece of paper but no plus? As soon as I hold the control here now, I can see the plus. All right, let's do it again. I'm going to hold control and then click on the sheet. There's the plus. That means it's copying. Now, the, the other thing we want to look at is that little downward pointing uh, black triangle. That means I'm going to drop it there. Now, here's the most important thing. Where I'm holding the mouse and control. You have to let go of the mouse first. And then you let go of control. So mouse and then control. So there you go. That's how to quickly create sheets. And there's lots of examples, tests, uh, week, quarter. It's just a great way, especially if you have a, a template built. Then when you copy these over real quick like this, boop, 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 you can uh, create a bunch of sheets quickly. Now, I'm going to uh, delete all these. I'm going to click on the first one and then hold Shift and click on the last one. And then I'm going to right click this and say Delete. And it's, uh, it deletes them. Now, I want to do the, this all over again but with Job 1. I'm going to do Shift F11. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to call it Job Open Parentheses 1 Close Parentheses. Remember, it has to, the number has to be in parentheses Enter. 
Now, our goal, if we click back over here, is to extract one of these records. Now, look at this. I've already named this job one, job two, because I was smart about how I named the sheets. Now, in, instead of having to type, because what we need for VLOOKUP or some function that will look up all these records at the top of each sheet, we need this first column. And we want to actually use that as the lookup value. And then we'll go over to all these subsequent columns and extract that data at the top of each one of these new sheets. Now, But I, I've smartly named these so I can create a formula here that will automatically look at the sheet name. This is a sheet tab name. All right, I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to copy because I want these field names the same at the top of each sheet. I'm going to control C. You can see the little dancing ants. They're dancing around. That means you've copied. And then I'm going to click on job one. And in A1, I'm going to hit control V. Okay, now we want a formula here that will automatically look at the sheet, main, sheet name. That way, when we copy the sheets over, it'll all be done. Now, I've already done this trick, and I'm going to do it fast here. As always, I have notes up here. There's a, an example. Um, of a video where I went very slow through this formula. So you can look at that one if you want. All right, you ready? We're going to use the replace and the cell and the find functions to extract a sheet name. Replace equals replace. And it needs to know what the old text is. Well, we're going to use the cell function because I want to, the cell function has the whole file path name, including whatever the sheet name is. So I'm going to do cell. And there's a drop down that in 2007, then you can just double click file name. Now, if you are in 2003, you obviously have to type double quote, file name, and double quote. And then we want to type comma A1. If you don't put comma A1 and then close parentheses, uh, the cell function does funny things. If you attach this cell function to A1, then it will always get the right sheet uh, tab name. All right, so that's the old text. Now, what do I want to replace? I want to start at the number one. By the way, we, we know this great trick um, to help us understand how a formula is evolving. I'm going to highlight this, and then I'm going to hit the F9.